What is rational number? Well, we start with integer. Integer is made of positive number and negative number. So the zero, one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, so on. So integer jump around on the number line. Okay. So this integer is not rational. Why it's not rational? Because integer has a four basic operation: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The addition answer is integer. The subtraction answer is integer. Multiplication is answer is integer. But division answer is not necessarily integer. That's why integer is not rational. In order to be rational, we need the answer to be in the range of the number. For example, one divided by three. We take this ratio, and we call that rational number. So rational rational number, of course, include integer because two is two over one, three is three over one, so on. So ratio of Integer, like negative five over three or twelve over eleven, those are the new number we call rational. The rational, in a sense that you can always find the answer within the number system you're using. So four basic operations covered. So within the rational number. No matter what you do, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you always have answer. You can always find the answer. What is the answer for one divided by three? It's one over three. Simple, isn't it? Okay. Now, this rational number, we have more than just one format. One divided by three, sure. One over three. It's easy way to write it. But we have so-called decimal number. Decimal number is to continue division here. So this is decimal number. You do the division all the way until you get whatever the last number. If you don't have last number, you put the dot. Indicating it's repeated. So, 0.3 is a decimal number. Decimal number is basically same as ratio, rational number. Okay. Now, if we shift two digit, then we get the percentage. So, the percentage decimal number they are all same. It's actually. Ratio of integer, so they are all rational number. It's just a different format. Decimal number, percentage, they are different format of rational number. Now, rational number, how can we convert decimal number to rational number? Say you have 0.333 going all the way, and we say that answer is S, right? You multiply by ten, it's gonna be three point three 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 three. So you subtract s from ten s, which is you eliminate all of that all the way. Okay, only three left, and ten s minus s nine s. So s is one over three. So this is the way you can always. Convert decimal number to ratio, and the ratio to decimal numbers you just execute this division all the way. Okay, so decimal number and the ratio is basically same thing. Okay, that's the rational number. Now let's fill in all the.、Um, A、number line 
we have 5 over 2 here, 1 over 3 here, 9 over 2 here. We fill everywhere between integer. So rational number is going to fill up entire number line. Okay? So the after this, we need to talk about irrational number. Why and how irrational number come about? Please look at the next video.